This is Ben, Liam and Bell on Nova. G'day there, podcaster. Fun show today. Uh, one of the big celebrities in town, Liam Neeson, which kind of snuck up on us. There was no warning. You know, sometimes mm. they're like, next year this person's coming to us. It's just like, oh, Neeson's here. Yeah. Mm. To be fair, I think he's been in Melbourne before. I think that um, Black Light film, he was here for that one. It wasn't, wasn't great. That one. Yeah, I think he's kind of at that point in his career where iconic, I'd say A-lister for sure, but he's done so many movies these days that he has lost a bit of the prestige. I, I think it was this, there's some people in that action category. They just keep going for ages. Yeah, like get, churning him out. Jason stayed in the beekeeper. Yeah. The new one. They get a bit of that, um, like what Adam Sandler does for comedy. They do that for action. So they, yeah, just, they keep yeah. pumping them out. And they're obviously iconic, but I think you do lose a bit of your clout when you keep pumping them out. But you just out. don't know when the next one's going to pop up. Taken, I don't think it was a big budget film. In the cinemas, I don't think it did much. And then all of a sudden, everyone was like, oh my God, this movie's the best. Like yeah. I, I remember watching that on like a, vid- like a Video Easy DVD. Yep. I think that was one of those ones that was like bigger after the fact. And he's yep. just waiting for his next Taken. Yeah. Or like um, Adam Sandler with like Sandy Wexler or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the laugh that Sandy Wexler does in the film. How cool. Just super side quick note before this podcast starts. The Jim Carrey photo? The Jim Carrey photo that I put in the group chat. Mm. Oh, yeah, no, it I do his, know what you're talking about now. Yeah, it was um, his birthday, yeah, who and was there's kind of like, it's almost like a Last Supper photo. It's just got tons it's of badass, iconic eh? comedians. Who? I couldn't t- I only recognised Jim Adam Carrey, Sandler. Adam Sandler, side by side. You got David Spade weirdly oh, really? in the background. Jimmy Fallon's there. Oh. Um, you've got... You didn't um, look at the picture very hard, though. Uh, yeah. I, I, I looked a, at it. I I've just got to get the photo up to get Hang on, where's it gone? Yeah, you guys were like frothing over it last night in the group chat. Like, oh my god! And I was like, I have no idea who's in. Jeff this. Ross is in there. Jeff Ross is in the there. Roast master. Yep. You got Bill Burr there at the back. Yep. Uh, is it um uh, uh Rawlings? Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, plays the keys in the office. Uh, uh, very funny man. Take your panties off. Yeah. Take your panties Rihanna, off. take your panties off. Craig Robinson. Craig Robinson. That's what, what do I call him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was using his name Just from like the show. Just half white bald men. Anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> I was sort of bogging it down before getting into the um, yes. into the pod. But yeah, enjoy. Fun episode today. How amazing. Liam Neeson is currently in Gippsland. Right here in Victoria. It's always crazy when a celebrity just sneaks in. Yeah. They kept it all very hush-hush. But it's happening right now in Walhalla. I'm guessing he's filming a new movie. Yep. New film. Ice Road 2, Road to the Sky. Is it actually Ice Road 2? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's Ice Road? I, I, I've seen so many Liam Neeson movies. I'm pretty sure I enjoyed Ice Road 1. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it's it's Liam Neeson. Most of his films are him, you know, killing people in a different yep. sort of terrain, whether it be the Except desert Except for Love or Actually. Ice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, where but it's I, just the sad dad. I one. think in Ice Road, I think he, he, he drives like a snowplow. Hmm. Kills yeah. people as well. Checks kills people. For some yeah. reason, he, I think his son dies, and he's what? got to avenge him. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that happen. He's either got a dead kid or a kidnapped kid yep. most of the time in his films. Yeah. Uh, but we're joined now by one of the locals who runs the store where this movie is being filmed. Morning, Brian. I mean, surely this is the biggest thing that's ever happened in town. Oh no no no! The gold rush was very significant. <laughs> oh, true, true. No, sorry, sorry, Brian. No, I am, yeah. I am forgetting the gold rush. Um, yeah, yeah, but this is the next chapter in uh, in Wolhella's history. Mm. Absolutely. Yes. Um, I mean, the big question is: Have you spotted the big man yet? Have you seen Liam Neeson? Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Mister Neeson has been in town essentially every day for filming. I could actually tell you where he's staying. Oh. However, I then have to hunt you down and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd have to take in us. You're a man with a particular <laughs> set of skills. So are they Absolutely. just are they, are they filming in the streets, Brian? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a minor disruption to traffic flow in Walhalla while they're while they're filming. Mm-hmm. It's probably a great time to visit. Yeah. You can actually see Hollywood happening and see a little bit of uh, Nepal. Yeah, because they they've set up the set. It's like to look like a Nepalese village, but it's interesting. Like when you think they could go anywhere in the world, they could probably go to Nepal. <laughs> they, it's probably closer for for Liam to get there from where he lives. But they've gone. What about Walhalla, yeah. Australia? That's it. Why do we make that look like Nepal? I don't know how it works. Do you know how your yeah, town was picked? Apparently, it was no more no more complicated than looking on uh, Google Earth and saying. We want a steep valley, we want a small village, and we need a, a river or a creek running through the bottom. 
Wow. wow. God, isn't it funny? It would be someone's job to scout that out. I kind of really want to go to Walhalla now, regardless of the Liam Neeson yeah. thing. You, you sold your town oh, very beautiful. well there. You know, the river running down mm-hmm. the bottom and the hill. and Absolutely. And if anyone's got any questions on what Walhalla's like, just go to Google Images and punch in Walhalla and uh, you'll be drawn to the town. Oh, wow. Brian, Brian, we're going to come and visit real soon, okay? <laughs> okay, bye. See you, Brian. See you, Brian. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you... Should we call him back I as Liam Neeson? We all know that Liam does do a Liam Neeson impression. One of his four impressions he does. You should call Brian back. Still got the number punched in? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, all right, let's get him on. All right, here we go. Hello, Brian speaking. Hello, is this the general store? <laughs> I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want, but I'm peckish for some chicken crumpies. Are they available at your store? Absolutely. Do you also sell cans of Rexona? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can get most things in Wilhella. Wondrous. <laughs> Do you have fishing supplies? Uh, no. Mm, that displeases me. Which makes me a nightmare for people like you. <laughs> I think he knows it's you, Liam. Liam, come on. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Brian. Sorry, Brian. It's me. It's not Liam Neeson. It's Liam from the radio, who you just spoke to yeah, before. A, a, a pretty poor impersonation. Oh. <laughs> okay. no, yes, no Brian. No caller ID. I had suspicions, but I didn't want to... Uh... Yeah. yeah. Nah, we'll let you go, Brian. <laughs> thanks, thanks for letting me down, Easy. Uh, <laughs> appreciate you, Brian. <laughs> See you, Brian. <laughs> no worries, thanks. See ya. We will find you and we will kill you. <laughs> 13 24 10. Give us a buzz. Where'd you get stuck? Um, we're doing this because there is a man uh, in his mid 30s got stuck in the aeroplane toilet. And it wasn't like he was stuck for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. He was stuck the entire flight. Uh, even when they landed, and he claims he got injured during the landing. Oh, here we go. The staff were trying to get him out during the flight, and apparently it was jammed, and they slid uh, 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 a little piece of paper under the toilet door and said, you're just going to have to stay in there. We can't get the door unstuck. Surely they're not that... Oh, maybe they are sturdy. I thought you'd just be able to, like, kick through it, right? I would have thought so, or yeah. Do you think I, they make, do you think they make them sturdy? Because if someone's acting up on a flight, if worst case Lock scenario, them they can zip tie them and get I, them in the toilet. Lock I, them in there. I think that whenever I've gone to an airline toilet, like an airplane toilet, it always seems pretty weak. Yeah. Do, yeah, never, don't I, isn't it like a foldy yeah, door? Like, yeah. <laughs> I can put my shoulder well, through which, that. Um, which yeah. airline was it, though? Because If it was well, Jetstar, you'd be able to, yeah. you'd be able to karate kick <laughs> um, right through it. None that we've used. Um, the airline's called Spice Jet. Well, spice there's your jet. answer. There's yeah. the problem. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Spice you want a bit jet. of spice on your flight? We'll <laughs> yeah. lock you in if the toilet. If you're booking spice jet, yeah, you do take your life into your own hands, I think. Uh, Maddie and Elwood, where did you get stuck? I got my um, finger stuffed in a videotape recorder when I was younger. Oh. oh. It is when you're a kid, you do sort of <laughs> feel the need to push things in the flap, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Like a finger, how do you get a finger stuck, Maddie? Like, what was it actually stuck in? It was like, you know, when you put the video tape in. Mm, yeah. I obviously like I don't know what I was doing, but I put my finger in. Yeah. And it got like infected and I had to go to like the doctor and everything. Oh wow, I got infected as well. Jeez. I got my uh, finger stuck in a vacuum cleaner when I was a kid. Oh well, like really? one of the old school like ones well, that just, like rock. You yeah. stuck your finger in. Sure. Yeah, was. sure it was. Yeah. Lee joins <laughs> us now. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. When you were a kid. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Lee joins us now in Craigieburn. Good morning, Lee. Where'd you get stuck? I got stuck in a child's swing on the way home from a night out. Oh, Oh, I've done that too, Lee. Yeah, that because it's tight on the hips, isn't it? One of the ones where it's for like little kids and you can put your legs through the holes. Well, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, that one seems more fun. Yeah. Mm, That would have been so funny, though. Like, did you have friends around you? Yeah, so there was a group of us walking home and we just sort of stopped on the way and got stuck and um, managed to get out after about half an hour. Oh, of that's a lot. A yeah. full effort, a group effort. Yeah. But was it, Lee, like Ben said, um, was it you were backwards with your legs through the holes or did you just get your hips stuck? Because I've gotten my hips stuck in there before. Um, yeah, it was the hip. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, if you put I your legs my through. my legs, there's a picture in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Lee's got a wagon. <laughs> what the hell? Man? I said I got mine stuck too. 
<laughs> that's a hate. That's a hate job problem, Bill. Yeah. It's a hate job problem if you say it about a listener. But as I don't well. know. But I don't know Lee personally. Hey Lee, good news is you're in the draw to go see T Swizzle in our corporate box. We could be calling you back in an hour and twenty minutes, Lee. So stay by your phone. It's six ten. Hallelujah! It's six ten. Rochelle and Backus Marsh. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you? Yeah, so good. Hey, your voice is on the air, so we could be calling you in like two hours' time, letting you know you're going to Tay Tay in a corporate That's box. That's very exciting. You've got your calendar free at eight a.m. Yeah, no plans. I'll be at work, but no plans. Okay, good. <laughs> Just have your phone taped to your head, not too tight though, because you need to answer it. Yeah, and um, the Wi-Fi might no fry way. your brain. That's true. <laughs> um, Thank right. you very much. Well, let's kick into this quiz. Uh, Novak Djokovic said he has a special relationship with the tree in Melbourne that he's visited every year for the last fifteen years. If a tree is deciduous, what happens to it every year? Uh, I don't know that one. So if a tree is deciduous? It's just like ha- one thing that happens to a tree yeah. every year. Uh, there's not Bloom. many things. Blooms? No, it doesn't <sighs> bloom. Sorry, Rochelle. But good guess. It's good like, try. Yeah, it's like the only other thing that it can do. Uh, Rose and Tyneek, do you know what a deciduous tree does? It's like all trees do it once a year. No, not all trees well, do not it. Well, not all. Um, only deciduous ones. Yeah. Um, I, I think if it doesn't bloom, it loses all its leaves. Yeah, it loses its leaves, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But only deciduous trees lose their leaves. <laughs> um, the Powerball didn't go off last night, and it has now jackpotted to 150 milli next week. We bought a show ticket, so we're all still in it to win it. Uh, if 10 yes. people shared the jackpot, how much would they win each? 15 million? Yeah, you've done it. Uh, there is a tennis ball exhibition at NGV. They want you to bring in your old tennis balls um, and then they'll give you a new one, which is pretty cool. Mm. What does NGV stand for? Oh, national... Yes. Gaming Victoria? National Gaming Victoria. No, <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, but you, were cl- you got like two out of the three. I think you were... You were focusing on the tennis balls. Yes. Maybe Just think less more like the art, art installation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sabrina and what's on you? Do you know what NGV stands for? National Gallery Victoria. She's done it. Uh, you're also in the draw for Tay Tay. Uh, now, there's a new feature at Halls Gap Zoo. This is awesome. Where you can hold an otter's hand, so they've got like little two little holes in the glass, and the otter just goes super cute, puts its little hand through the glass. I like it because yeah, so they put their hand through the glass to you, so yeah. they have the power, and it's their choice. The worry is though, we're talking about this off air. The worry is that someone will squeeze the otter's hand too tight. Oh, there's so mm. many things that. If there's like go a wrong, rough, yeah. a rough kid that pulls yes. the otter too tight, yeah, yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I feel, yeah. I feel it's unsafe. Yeah, <laughs> um, I still want to go do it though before yeah. before it gets cancelled. Uh, what is an otter box, Sabrina? Um, we were talking about them yesterday, uh, actually. Otter boxes. Yeah, it's the unofficial show sponsor. Well, you can't say that. Yes, I can. Uh, yeah. uh, I, can I, say I that? have no idea. You don't uh, know what an otter box is. Really? Okay, Sabrina. Probably uh, the only person in Victoria. Hmm, okay. Uh, Ali in Kilsyth, do you know what an otter box is? It's a phone case. It yes, it is the yeah. best phone case available. Yeah, thanks why, for our unofficial why are you so show obsessed sponsor. With them, well, they're just very good. Like they, it is a good sturdy brand. They haven't when paid I, any money to us. When I when I think sponsor. superior phone case, I think OtterBox. We're chasing that sweet OtterBox coin. <laughs> They're like 80 bucks a pop, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> they, got, they got money. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, we have one more question for you, Ali. Uh, we're going to need your singing yep. voice, as is tradition. 90s band <laughs> Aqua are coming to Melbourne for a tour. Can you finish their lyrics? Like in plastic, it's fantastic. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay by your phone. You're in the draw for Taylor Swift. We could be calling you back. We like your vibe, Ali. You also get to pick the next song we play. Yes. So, do you want to hear Sure this morning? Do you believe in love after love? I can feel something Or, it's on its last legs. I know Belle's wanted this one all week. Yeah, this 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 has been going all week, Ali. And if you don't pick it today, no pressure, but... um. I, I don't think we're going to get to choose it again. Would you like Tattoo? Oh, 
Um, I'm sorry, but I have to pick Cher. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, you don't, if you don't pick Cher, it'll carry over to Monday, and then we can hear it then. Like, it's not like you're that disappeared. Yeah, no, I suppose Al, you just want to hear Cher. <laughs> yeah. No matter how hard I try, you keep pushing me aside. It's always a bit rough when it goes like a whole week with yeah. like no one wanting it. I've been rinsing that song like all summer. I just, oh, like I it's a pretty, know, it's a pretty good song, but I suppose people just like didn't want it. So normally yeah. if a song goes for uh, a week and no one picks it, we do have to put it down. Um, that that responsibility usually falls to me. Um, so I guess... Well, Ben, I, I, I certainly couldn't do it. You yeah. know I mean? You're sort of, you, you know, you've got yeah. a bit of a farming background. And, yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to get my hands dirty. Well, it's time to get our hands dirty. <laughs> Can you pass me that gun there, Liam? Oh. Just really? that one, yeah, just that pass that over. Yeah, sure. Man. No, Liam, that's the tattoo gun. Oh, sorry, wrong. Oh, wrong gun. Oh, very yeah. good. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one that I was looking for. You do become a little bit desensitized <laughs> to it when, you know, you do we do have to kill off songs quite often, really. So. Yeah. Nothing will be as bad as like the guillotine and all of that though. I, I thought, thought the, the, sam- the, gun, the samurai one was the pretty samurai was, that was That was pretty graphic. I had a sure. suggestion for how I wanted to do it. Like I'm, I'm happy with how we did it then, but it, um, I got told probably too visceral. What okay. was that? Well, I can't really say what I wanted to do. Oh, I, I feel like it would cross a line. Yeah, for mm. sure. Yeah. If it was, if it was, maybe in our off-air podcast. Yeah, I'll tell you how I wanted to do it in the off-air podcast today. So that's a good place to check that out. <laughs> it's 2024. It's the year of Liam's little songs. I made a promise to you, Melbourne, and to you, Ben and Bell, that I would do a little song every single morning this year. And there's been ups and downs this week. Um, but I think we're going to round out the week on a really strong one. Yesterday, it was around midday, you guys left, yep. and you said, oh, are you sure there's nothing else to do? I said, leave me. Leave me, guys. You go home. Go home to your families. Mm. I have some fire bars to write. I've got to stay back for what I consider to be my magnum opus. Oh, God. Enjoy. It's been one week since I started this segment. It's undeniably groundbreaking content. Five days since you laughed at me, saying this is stupid, the songs make me angry. Chicken to China, the Chinese chicken. When Belle's hungry, she still eats chicken. <laughs> what the hell? That's it? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a little song. They're not supposed to be big. If you want bigger songs, then you have to wait till 2025 for a little thing I'm brewing. I won't reveal too much. I don't eat chicken. When and you're hungry, again, you do. When you're really no, hungry. I don't. And it's another Just, song where you've I, explained doing a tip the song. Of the, a tip of the cap to you, Liam. <laughs> Thank um, you. Really? And, and it's audio, really hard. Yeah. And, and Audio Man Scudder, because just it's the little things in life that yeah. you got to appreciate. <laughs> that audio file, because I'm the one that hits the buttons, that audio file was mm-hmm. the standard 30 seconds. Yep. Even though that only went for like 18 seconds, because... They left silence on the end, so I didn't know that was coming. It was a trick. That was a trick. It was a trick. It was shorter than he thought. Bravo, so, sir. Yeah. You are yeah. putting too much brain power behind these. <laughs> That's impressive. Well, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's hard to be a genius, Bill. That's all I'm saying. I'd be curious to know, uh, New Year, maybe you got a new radio station. I don't know. Maybe you're flicking around the dial, having a look at what's out there. If that's you... 13 24 10. Give us a buzz if you've just started listening to Nova. Maybe we'll make it worth your while. And if it's only, you know, yeah, your first week listening, if you've got some feedback for mm. us or yeah, any questions, um, well, yeah, we're always open to that. Uh, you know, you, yeah, a lot of people do that. They start their year and they're like, I'm eating healthy, I'm going to the gym, I'm quitting smoking, I'm going to listen to Nova now. Yep. You know, I mean, you might, that might be, that's a very standard yeah. New Year's yeah, resolution, absolutely. isn't it? Yeah. I yeah. think I think as a radio station and as a radio show, we're very self-aware. So if you've got any feedback, we would love to hear it, as Bell said. Mm. Um, negative or positive, we welcome all feedback. If it is your first week listening to Nova 100, to myself, Ben and Bell, we want to hear from you. 13, 24, 10. Joe in Blackburn, uh, this is your first time. It is, yes. All oh, right. Hello. Welcome, Joe. Thank you. So, uh, did you... Thank you. Did you start like early this week or like first morning this morning? Monday. Monday, right. So you Monday. made that was a real conscious choice. What did you listen to in the past? I did listen to Kiss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right, fair. And oh. is there, and is there a reason you're flicking around, Joe? Yeah, I don't like Kyla Jackio. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah, yes. well we we 
we earn a lot less money than them. <laughs> yeah. And um, we rate, we different. don't rate as well. Yeah. <laughs> and we're only controversial sometimes. Like, we've only had to do a couple of apologies. Yes. Mainly Liam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and honestly, to like companies, not like yeah, everyday not to like, not, yeah, like, not to people, more to not, companies. Yeah, not to like countries or people or religions or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Nothing, yeah. Like, none of the dicey stuff, Joe. Um, oh. But yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Joe, you're um, welcome. just, just to say. Thanks for having me. Oh, no, you're so welcome. Just to say thanks uh, for listening to us for a whole week. We've got some prizes. Obviously, you are in the draw for oh. our corporate box yeah. um, for Taylor Swift, so we yeah. could be calling you back this morning. We're not against bribery to keep you listening. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, let's just have a looky here. What do we have? We've got six bottles of wine Ooh. from Zonzo Estate, oh. Joe. Uh, would you like uh-huh. that? Sure. All right, Joe, they're all yours. If, if, if at any point um, we are losing you, just call back and say, guys, I'm going to need a bit <laughs> I'm, more wine. I'm out of wine. <laughs> I'm out of wine, yeah. <laughs> well, Joe's enjoying a perfect drop from the heart of the Yarra Valley. What about Stacey and East Bentley? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so you? you're a new Nova listener, Stace? Yeah, this morning, to be honest. Yeah, oh, right. really? So this is your first day? Yes. All right, and what are your initial thoughts, mate? Oh, yeah, no, good. Uh, fresh crew. It's really good to um, have another crew on air. Um, yeah, no, really good. Yeah, right. really so good. Uh, what are you normally listening to? Uh, honestly, a bit of 3AW, but oh. um, needed needed some music and this morning. And, yeah, yeah Stace, to- surely, like, it's a very different... Our program's very different to what 3AW yeah, is are, are Ross and Russ doing Liam Neeson impressions in the morning? <laughs> are they, they doing <laughs> little they songs and stuff? Or? <laughs> Yeah, I, I needed a bit of a pick-up this morning, so it's right. been good. Yeah. Oh, really good on you. It. Well, oh, good on you, Stace. Excellent, Stace. I appreciate you, hey, mate. Well, you mentioned you need a bit of a pick-up. Uh, how does this sound? We'll give you a $200 grilled voucher for lunch. Yep, that'd be great. Really appreciate it. No worries, mate. You really took that in your stride. Yeah, yeah. it feels like you're going back to 3AW, to be honest. <laughs> it's sort of like, thanks, mate. I'll take the voucher and I'm done. Uh, yeah, serve an ace with grilled healthy burgers, new Ash Barty range, limited time only. Bernadette in Armstrong Creek. This is your first time listening to myself, Ben and Belle on Nova 100. It is. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Bernadette. So what brings you to Nova? Well, I, I am another um, person that's jumped away from Kiss. Mm-hmm. Um, and I completely deleted them, to be honest. Oh, off you the, took uh, off the preset. Off the radio. Oh, yeah, wow. I, I, uh, yeah, that's my own own protest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope we don't do you wrong, Bernadette. You delete <laughs> yeah. us. Um, I, and, and now we know we're dealing with, with such a brutal radio <laughs> operator. We don't want to upset you, Bernadette. Is there yeah, anything? No, don't, don't do that. Is there anything you're liking, not liking, just from your initial sort of thoughts? I, I would just say a little less Liam Neeson. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, so you're not a fan of the impressions. All right. So I, I've got, you know, this is only your first week listening, but I've got at least three or four other impressions. <laughs> Don't that tell it. We'll, okay. we'll, 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 give, we'll give the rest a chance. Okay. I'm, I'm, prepared, well, I'm prepared to give the rest a chance. You will hear most of them w- w- give or take within the next half an hour to hour, I would say. All right. Bernadette, I'll I'm, let you know in an hour. Okay. I'm so with you. Less Liam Neeson, less impressions. Um, Bernadette, um, <laughs> we love your vibe and we would love to reward you with a little prize. Would you rather the grilled voucher, the $200 grilled voucher, or the six bottles of wine from Zonzo Estate? What are you, what are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling the grilled voucher would be lovely. Thank you. All right. Yeah. It's all yours. The Australian Open last night, uh, Carlos Alcaraz, amazing. Bit of a superstar, isn't oh, he? Oh, stud. Oh, oh, yes, yeah, stud and a half. Mm. Um, he's Spanish, mm-hmm. I think, and he did an incredible shot um, where there was a like, super hard shot, other side of the court. He sprints over, hits it back, like makes the hit. Not only that. Gets it right in the other corner of the other side. Gets the point. Incredible. You do see, like, especially when there's a bit of an older crowd, you know, when a player, like, they might, like, hit it back between their legs. And there's oh, a bit of a fluster yeah. and there's a bit of a... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, like, I like how you hear that sort of rumble across the arena. Well, that's mm. the thing. Like, people were just like, oh, my gosh. And then post-game... Mm. He goes, oh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really look at the score. I just, I just do trick shots just to entertain the crowd. That's cool, man. Like, mm. oh, okay. Hey. Start of the week, we were talking about diaries and the idea of keeping them growing up. I didn't do it. Ben didn't. Uh, Belle, you did. We think it's maybe, you know, maybe like younger girls do it more. And, and you went to your mum's house and you found your voice-activated um, <laughs> journal from back in the day. Could you open it up for us, Belle? We'd Absolutely. love another reading. Your password, please. Cool princess. Welcome back. We did learn um, yesterday that it's not very secure. Liam um, <laughs> did a bell impression and it worked. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, um, and I got locked out of it and he yeah. got in. Ridiculous. Yeah. But it is from 2003. Mm-hmm. 
Today's reading comes from 2005. Yeah. Uh, Great we... year, by the way. I remember 2005 mm. well. Great year. It's when um, Revenge of the Sith came out. I, that's what I did my birthday. Went to see it with some mates, Tyson Montalioni, Ben Small. It was a good times. Very cool. Had some, <laughs> had some takeaway pasta before. Well, this is the Take thing. Takeaway pasta before the movies. Mm-hmm. Well, we wouldn't want to be too late. It's school night, you know? <laughs> did you get popcorn? Yeah, man. Popcorn and pasta. Wow. Birthday boy. <laughs> yeah, I, someone's I, birthday. I say great year. That's the only night I remember from 2005. <laughs> yeah. I, I can tell you it was 2005. Yeah. See, you needed a diary. You yeah. can log everything. Mm. Well, I would say, you know, giant nerd, Liam, but the next reading I'm going to give you does show that I was also a nerd mm-hmm. in 2005. Let's cast our minds back to February 24. 2005. Hey diary, it's 7am. I'm just sitting in bed and I just remembered that today is the 24th of Feb, which means that today the Game Boy DS comes out. Whoa! Whoa! This is the first one too. Except I don't have enough money because it's $200. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, and did I tell you that Sam said today, that yesterday, sorry, that she's going to get MSN tomorrow? Finally. Her mum is finally letting her get it, which means we can talk every day after school. It's going to be so good with six O's. Now to some more huge news. It's the disco this Friday. I can't believe it. I am so excited. Why? Because Jack has made a promise to me yesterday that he's going to save a dance with me. <laughs> I'll save a dance for you. <laughs> and pretty, the yeah. other five girls he had on the go. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be pretty busy. There'll be a few chicks that night, but I'm sure I could, uh, I could, I'll pencil you in for one, Belle. I don't know what song I'm going to choose for it, though, because we get to choose a song each, apparently, so I need to make sure it's perfect. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for Friday. Speak then. See ya. Do you know what song you chose? To be honest, I have this like vivid memory of um oh, I think it was Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, that which was there's a lot sense. of Black Eyed Peas. I think the... it was Where is the Love, Black Eyed Peas. Mm. So And that's sort of hard to do a first <laughs> dance to as well, really. It's not sort of you didn't get the slow brief. You're sort of more crumping at each yeah, other. Yeah, well, I wanted to be cool, you What's know. Wrong with the world, mama. I had my DS in one hand, but yeah. I was, you know, getting boys with the other. Come on, Jack. Trying to me. Oh, my God, you got the new DS? That's so sweet. Yeah, pretty cool. Do you have Nintendogs? <laughs> I did get Nintendogs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my poor dogs. <laughs> did you, so do you remember the dance? Was there a, was there a kiss? I mean, we know Jack no, was no, no, playing no, no, pretty no, no. hard to get. Mm. No, 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 no. So this was, yeah, this was year five. Okay, yeah, pretty um, young. Yeah. And so, yeah, no, we definitely, we danced. And I think I got about half the song because I remember him then being like, all right, see ya. And then walked off. Was Jack, like, was Jack your first kiss? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like just a small peck. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I let's... can't wait till we get to the peck chapter. Side yeah. Like, that's gonna be, <laughs> yeah. That is going to be explosive. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to July 1, 2005. Now, this is where things take a turn. So today, Diary, I learnt that Tommy, my older brother, is going to get the PSP. Whoa! Whoa. Man, I didn't have that. The (laughs) PlayStation Portable. He just showed me that it can take photos and has really good games now. So now I want the PSP. The DS seems crap. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, change of tune here. Yeah. We're at our holiday in Rosebud now, and we're gonna go get pizza. We were gonna get Pizza Hut for dinner, which I was really excited for. But then Tommy and Chris both said they didn't want it. So then we got we went out for dinner instead, and I got nachos. They were yum though. Anyway, I want the PSP. <laughs> <laughs> what a riveting entry! Oh yeah, no, no that's not it. We're halfway, halfway. Oh, okay. Then we changed gears again. In other news, on Sunday, Rove is on again. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yay! Not. Mum said I'm not allowed to watch it because it's on too late. Well, I guess it's not as bad as if I couldn't listen to Hamish and Andy again. That would be horrible. But I guess it is still crap. Also, it's Rachel's party next weekend. I don't want to go because get this right, she didn't invite any of our other friends because they're all in a fight. And I don't want to be in the middle of it. So I really don't want to go. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. She's been really mean to everyone lately, so I don't want to buy her a present, but I think I have to. I don't want to get dressed up either because she doesn't deserve it. 
Okay, that's all. See ya. <laughs> it's such a time capsule yeah. into your life. There's also, so much going on. I'm like, I'm hating people. Yeah. I don't want the DS anymore. I want the PSP. You're obsessed with Rove. Yeah, yeah I'm Ro- angry at mum because I can't watch Rove. Rachel's okay. a bit of a mole, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> going through something. Is that like how all kids feel? Is it just like feeling that way? Then we go this way. Then we I think like that. So. Was I just like not right? No, you just seem like a pre-teenage girl, I think. Just a bit erratic. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. I was about 11, so yeah. it kind of fits. Yeah. He's the viral artist of 2024, topping all the charts around the world and having his music streamed over a billion times on Spotify. Now he's bringing his sold-out world tour to our iconic Sydney Meyer Music Bowl. Please welcome Noah. What a legend, Noah. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, my man. What an intro. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, a billion streams on Spotify. YouTube gives you like a plaque for the views. What does Spotify give you? Uh, I think they gave me like 50 cents. <laughs> 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 there you go. Well, two billion next. No, I keep so, on going. I'm gonna buy myself a Hershey's chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Mate, well, congrats anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, we we saw some footage, but how was last night's gig at Sydney Myra? It looked huge. It was huge. It was huge, and it was the first time I played for that many people by myself. My mm. band uh, didn't make it to Australia. There's some weather. It was a combination of weather and them not having the commitment and drive to make it here. <laughs> uh, no, there was there was a lot of weather coming out of Nashville, so they couldn't make it. It was just me and uh and my guitar player, and uh, it was incredible. It seemed like they enjoyed it. They were incredibly sweet to me. They sang all the words, and uh, I was really nervous. I I I get nervous a lot, but I don't get that nervous usually. And, yeah. Um, just having them be so receptive and, and kind was really special. I'll forget. I'll remember it forever. Mm. Yeah, it's such a trip as well. When you, I mean, like, we're so far away from everything here in Australia. So when you're like fly, you're traveling that long, and then there's you know your music's connected so hard with people all the way over the other side of the world, mm. must be pretty trippy as well. Yeah, it's a total trip. Like hearing people sing about Vermont, which is like people in America don't even know Vermont. Is. They, all, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. they all think I'm up in Canada, and they're like, yeah, it's cool. It's where do you have your visa? And I'm like, no, I'm living. It's, it's, it's an American state. Uh, <laughs> But hearing people in Australia sing, uh, you know, lyrics that are really specific to my, you know, my hometown and, yeah. and my state was really cool. And, um, you know, it speaks to the idea that music is like really universal and that like the human experience is mm. like relatable on every end of the world. And uh, that's the coolest thing in the world is to sing about something that means something to me and watch it mean something to somebody that lives, you know, thousands and thousands of miles away. And I'm... Spotify gives you 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you got to perform at Sydney Meyer Music Bowl as well. I know it's confusing because you're in Melbourne and it's a Sydney Meyer Music Bowl. Yeah. And it's spelled probably... different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that you got to perform there because that, that venue, uh, I hope you agree, but I think it's sick uh, being on the stage and having the people on the side and and up the hill on the grass and everything did you get to explore much of it at all or is it kind of in and yeah out? we did some photos in the park it's absolutely beautiful oh the botanic it's gardens so gorgeous yeah i was uh it was just a really special place what i love about like playing venues like that is that they are usually surrounded by like beauty and, and like they're like an art installation almost mm. in the middle of the park it's not just like a dusty club it's like a beautiful you know uh place for music and um what i loved so much is that it's so much lighter out here so much later than it is back in the states so like starting the show at nine like it's just that last mm. little yes. bit of light and uh it was a really beautiful backdrop for for the show and, and uh kind of made it a really special moment for me well you got this... the tennis on as well at the moment are you gonna pop into the tennis at all yeah busy. i'm gonna go to the open uh, i i think i'm gonna go over there and uh i don't know do you have to wear anything is that where you have to wear like nice clothes and not really <laughs> nah, you just nah, chop nah. around in anything yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Dep- cool. well it depends i mean if you're going into a fancy bit then yeah but uh no nah, just no. if you're wandering around and want to go pop in we'll be down no, by the hot dogs and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mate, if you rock up in thongs and boardies then you'll be sweet yeah so do you so this <laughs> no, might be yeah, sorry they're a different thing what yeah. the hell <laughs> no we, that's what we call flip flops here yeah, you don't yeah. want to flip see that <laughs> <laughs> i am gross Th- flip flops board uh thongs <laughs> thongs are are not like the thong that we no wear. no flip flops board shorts is what okay, she's uh, going at. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't sound pretty Australian there, to be fair, but yeah, just get your thongs and your boards yeah. on there, mate. No, yeah. no, I want to assimilate into the culture. <laughs> <laughs> Start saying that in America. I don't know what the response is going to be. Hey, at the moment, we are joined in studio with Noah Khan. Um, we're going to jump into a song right now. When we come back, we're going to play One Bar Star for the first time for 2024. One Bar Star Man on your radio I can pick pretty much any song with like one bar. I'm not a good musician, but I've got a musical mind. Are you a competitive man, Noah? 
Yeah, yeah, I, I am. I uh, I really like to win and and to beat radio hosts. <laughs> <laughs> it's really my bread and butter. Coordination <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty specific. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've got uh, five songs and a tiebreaker if it weirdly comes to that. Um, you buzz in with your name. You get a crack at it first if you buzz in first. If you get it wrong though, you do give do give a shot to the other person. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna go for theme. I'll go country themed. Um, these are these are. I big feel like songs. that's less in my wheelhouse. It's definitely fair. not your wheelhouse. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see how we go. So remember, you'll play the first bar and you buzz in with your name. One bar star man. It's Liam versus Noah Khan. Here we go. Here we go. Liam, uh, love story, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Yeah, I do that too. I just wanted to like start off with you winning one, <laughs> <laughs> or else it gets awkward. Well played. We, we, we play a bit of Taylor here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, just you have bit. the door code, so if I beat you, you can just lock me in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Song number two. Liam. Um. Uh, it doesn't don't sound impress very me much. Oh. It's uh. Oh, jeez. If you know it, Noah, you can buzz oh, what in. What an idiot. I know what it. An idiot. Noah. Yeah, go for it. Ash and I, Twain. Bang. That don't impress me. Is that country? Yeah, I guess it is. So the intro is like more like not yeah. country. There was debate about that being country. I think that does fit into the country. Yeah, yeah. Shania Twain. I, I think we'll let you be the authority on that. <laughs> yeah. Noah. You, 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 you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, the, I'm the country guy here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a flannel shirt somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is one to Noah, one to Liam. Here we go. Song number three. Noah, 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 Noah. Noah. Oh, uh, oh, is that Ed Sheeran? Uh, <laughs> uh, James Bay, uh, George Ezra. Oh, that's Noah Conn. <laughs> we've, we've had artists in we, the past we've had people that, that have got did, their own song wrong. Yeah. How do you come back from that? <laughs> yeah. How do you walk out of the studio? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's yeah. always a bit of a... <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit. Moron. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, someone didn't write their own song. All yeah, right, let's point. go. It is two to Noah. That means, Liam, you need this to stay in it. Mm-hmm. Song number okay. four. Liam, Dolly Parton, 9 to 5. Working right. All right, we're on here. That was great. Oh, I always awesome. love it. I love it when it comes to a tiebreaker. This is for the win. One bar star, Noah Khan, in the studio versus Liam. Is this a song? No, no. Oh, this, this, is, this, 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 this is a this, heartbeat, this is sound, heartbeat sound 45 <laughs> on Spotify. <Yeah. laughs> All right, here we go. Song number five. Liam. Noah. Oh, oh Liam, go it, for Liam it. Liam got it. You, you sure? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire. Oh, that was good. I at least knew the last one. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> now, I, look, I feel I feel bad, man. You said you were competitive and then I beat you in, in the game. But I think I think you just got to come back in again. I mean, yeah. it was such a pleasure having you. Um, we would love for you to come back sometime. I would love to. And don't worry, it's not me that suffers. It's the fans tonight when I cancel the show. <laughs> <laughs> because you beat me. Thanks, Liam. <laughs> Liam at uh, <laughs> his home address is... Uh, <laughs> Make sure you check out Noah's new album, Stick Season, out now. Noah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate your time. It's 8 o'clock. It's Friday. That means we're calling someone who's been on our show this week to let them know that they're coming in our corporate box for Taylor Swift. These are the hottest tickets in town. You literally cannot buy these tickets. Mm. It's a special prize. 13 2014 is always where you can call if you would like to get your voice on air. We have randomly selected a listener. We would mm-hmm. have spoken to them at some point this week. The number is punched in. You have to answer your phone. You have to be listening if you want to win. Two rings. Oh, oh three oh, rings. You oh Could you actually... The person you are oh! calling is available. Please leave a short message oh, 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 oh. and it will be sent oh, 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 oh. as an audio message. Oh, it's Ben oh. Lee Bell on Nova. I'm so sorry. You, didn't you should answer have answered your phone. Your phone. Oh, I think you know no. that what this was for, but I don't want to rub it in because so I feel sorry. bad. Oh. That is brutal. Oh my god. You know what? Bad news for that person. They're going to feel horrible. But good news for everybody oh, else. Oh man, that sucks. Also, a great reminder. Please, if you did get your voice on air, just set alarms and stuff, and make sure you're listening to the show and you've got your phone on loud. Why? On- Friday don't morning. we give everybody a song to make sure their phone is on loud to gather mm-hmm. themselves? 
It, like Ben said, we've been putting people in all week, and if you have been one of these people, you have to have your phone next to you. Could you imagine seeing that missed call? Oh. Well, we left a message oh. as well, so that sucks, but, you know. You'd feel sick. Okay, well, let's get the next number up. These are all randomly chosen. You've got to answer to win. Fingers crossed. Hello? Oh, hello there. Who's this? It's Donna. Donna. How are you, you doing today, Donna? I'm really good. How are you? Yeah, doing very good. Do you know who this is? I do. It's my favourite radio station. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Uh, 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 and what's the name of that station, Donna? That name is Kiss. <laughs> are you serious? Is that a joke or are you serious? <laughs> you doing a bit? <laughs> you doing a bit? You doing a bit, Donna? Because you're not listening to Kiss. It's not Kiss. Am no. I what? No, it's, it's not. You're not it's listening not. to kids. No, it's not kids. No, no, it's no fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. You're doing a bit. You're doing a bit. Well, Donna. <laughs> very funny. Donna. You need to be very clear. Kiss is not giving away the tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nova is Nova, giving away Nova's 100. That's sort of key for the yeah. bosses here. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Nova. I, I like I'm a... being silly. Sorry. Yeah. I, like, oh, yeah. I like a prankster, Donna, and I actually... I would love to spend a few hours <laughs> with someone like you, um, Ooh, possibly in a corporate box for someone like Taylor Swift. Oh, my God. You're heading oh along, God. Donna. No way. You've won. Oh, my God. Can I do it? Yeah, absolutely, you Donna. You actually won. Oh, oh my God. I have no words. Donna, you oh. are seeing Taylor Swift in a corporate box. Who are you going to take? Oh, 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 I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, good on you, Donna. Do you remember when you got on the show? Do you remember what day? Um, I think it was last Friday. Last Friday? I think. I'm not sure. We weren't on then. We weren't on. That. Are you doing another joke, Donna? I can't, I can't, I can't keep track of you. Uh, hey, Donna. You. Donna. Yeah, Donna. Yeah. We're just kidding. You didn't actually win. Oh, you're a prankster too, hopefully. No, yeah, I am. I was, yeah, no, you were on to me. <laughs> also, what's going on with the song? This has been a wild one. I think this Taylor been... Swift is glitching out. Taylor Swift is glitching. Okay, Taylor Swift. I think it's because the phone <laughs> lines are going. Lady. Nah, Donna, good news. We're going to be seeing you at the corporate box watching Taylor Swift together. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I am shaking. I am that excited. No worries, Thanks, Donna. Donna. No worries. I just have to shake it off, won't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's good. We've got a real fan on the line. Um, gee whiz. Good that on was, you, Donna. That was executed perfectly. Team, well done. Well done. <laughs> Wait, that to be replayed. A lot, lot of um, build up. Yep, that'll be a few good grabs in there for Jamie. Nah, I reckon be... we can edit that up nicely. <laughs> Cut out the kiss stuff. Who are you listening to? I am listening to Nova 100. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Sweet, like, edit that out. Yeah. Well, I didn't have this on my 2024 bingo card. Novak Djokovic is in love with a tree. There's one particular tree that I've been uh, having special relationship with, so to say. I got connected with that tree. I just liked it, and I liked its roots and the trunk and branches and everything. So I started climbing it years ago, and that's it. I have a connection. <laughs> He's in love. I have a special imagine, connection with tree. Could you imagine walking through the Botanic Gardens yeah. and going, Is that Novak Is that in a tree? Is that Novak in a tree? <laughs> is that Novak in a tree? <laughs> In a tree, get away! This is my special tree. Ah, get away! It's like it's so we know it's in the tan. We know that. Yeah. Like we know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I almost want to go for it. There's a lot of trees there. It feels like it would be like a fig tree. Yeah, it, it'd have to be like a big special tree. Because he mentioned because he mentioned the roots the of roots, the tree. That yes. for me is yeah. like it must so have. If you're visible seeing roots. the roots, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's incredible though, and the fact that they like he's like I'm not gonna say which one. He doesn't want people to to no. face it, you know. He's haters. Yeah. Um, or p- potentially other tennis players maybe getting the power mm. of the tree because it sounds to me like it's almost like a. Uh, like a, I'm not saying he's sacrificing anything on the tree, but it sort of it feels like he's he's almost praying at the altar of that particular tree. I think more than anybody, Liam, you would understand his oh, love of trees. <laughs> Yeah. I still remember we were on a work trip. I believe we were in Sydney, uh, and it was me, Liam, and Bell in an Uber. And Liam was like, he stopped everybody's conversations. And was like, oh my, everybody look, oh my god, mm. look at that tree. And everyone was like, what? And he's like, look at that tree. And then you got your phone out and you took a photo of the tree because you loved the tree so much. Dude, I still think about that tree like a lot. It like was... I was hoping. So I got married on the 9th of December, and you know they say you mean like I, Liam Stapleton, yep. take you. I was trying so hard not to say tree. The whole time I was thinking tree, 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 and I had to remember Sarah, 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 that's my fiance's yeah. name. Yeah. But I was so close. I, I nearly, nearly said that, that tree I saw in Sydney that time. 
<laughs> your excitement was through the roof, but mostly it was also funny because Ben and I, like, we looked at the tree. Mm. And it's like, yeah, no, I've seen, I've seen a lot of trees. Yeah, like, to me it seems no. like a and regular like, no. Well, you can't help what tree you fall in love with, guys. So <laughs> I sort of get what, where Novak's coming from. Um, 132410, do you have a special relationship with a tree? What? I don't think we'll get any calls I for think, that. I, I think we will. I think, I think there's people who are like, oh, I like my, you know, my dad planted this tree or, you know, or there's this special tree near my grandparents' house that we like. I don't know, played on when we were kids or something. Like, I, you know. Do you have a special relationship with a tree? I reckon it's Liam and it's Novak. Yeah. I don't think we'll get any calls How for that. How flat would Novak be if he rocked up this week to, like, go and have some special time with his tree? Yeah. And the tree was two-timing him. <laughs> the, tree, <laughs> the tree was, like, cheating with someone else. And, like, <laughs> Novak's just devastated. He, like, bombs out in his next match. We've said 13, 20, 4, 10. Uh, give us a call if you have a relationship with a tree. No calls. And I'm stumped. <laughs> ah. Do we just leave it? Whoa. Well, we're doing this because, yeah, Novak Djokovic said that he is in love with a tree in the Botanic Gardens. Mm. Liam, you had a tree one time. We witnessed you spot a tree and you fell in love with it. So mm. maybe it's just you two. Liam and Belle, it feels like we're barking we up go. the wrong tree. Yeah. We better stop rooting around. You should branch out into more jokes. <laughs> She's actually very good. <laughs> It's like really, it feels like really a battle good. of the minds here, it's doesn't it? Doesn't it? Just. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think going? we're tapped. Yeah. I think everyone's tapped. Would we just play another song and move uh, on? Yeah, yes. it seems we've reached a fork in the tree. Uh, Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've got nothing now, but I'm like, yeah. fork in the tree feels like <laughs> yeah. scraping it the It feels like barrel. that was the stretch. <laughs> it feels like that was the one where we're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that was Even fun, you, though. Yeah, it was fun. Was that actually? <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it was. I, 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 don't, I think it's the opposite of that. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.